Compressed air is useful for a number of different applications. However, it is expensive to produce. The total cost of ownership should be a factor when dealing with a compressed air system. Most users of compressed air are surprised to learn over the course of a typical lifespan of an air compressor, three quarters of the total cost of ownership is spent on energy. Because the energy usage of a compressed air system is so significant, here are some ways to help operate the system as efficiently as possible. Remember to shut off your compressor when it's not in use, and it should not be used for tasks that can be done more efficiently with a different tool. Regular fluid and filter changes maximize longevity and uptime. At the time of service, a skilled technician can make adjustments to fine-tune energy efficiency and keep set points in the designated range. In addition to performing scheduled maintenance on your air compressor, the dryer, filters, and drains should all be checked for proper operation and efficiency. Plants often run at a higher pressure than needed. If you lower pressure, compressor power is reduced and unregulated uses consume less air. For example, lowering pressure from 120 PSI to 100 PSI saves 10% power at the compressor and less air is used. Leaks can account for 20% or more of system demands. A leak repair program is helpful to identify, repair, and verify repairs. A formal leak audit performed with an ultrasonic leak detector can identify quantify and prioritize leaks to be repaired. Heat waste from the process of compressing air can be recovered in many useful ways. The cooling fan outlet can be ducted to provide space heating. Liquid cooled heat exchangers can be plumbed into warm water for boiler preheat or any number of other applications. Implementing a heat recovery system could recover up to 90% of the energy from heat loss for use in your operation. 